Hello and welcome to Ultimate Golf Duff. I am Duff and I am here to guide your ultimate golf experience. Video number three, bear with me. They're getting better every time and they're only going to keep getting better. Very new at this, but I'm having fun, a ton of fun so far putting these together. I thought I would start off with tournament tip number one. This one gets asked a lot in the chat, in the feeds, in the various social media groups, and it really is a game changer. When you're playing this game, you can just bash the ball as far as you want down the course and get stuck with whatever club it leaves you, or you can make the decision to have a precision approach with a precision club. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. Picking your spot off the tee. Such an important part of the game. You can come top 30, top 40, just smashing the ball, grip it and rip it, and deal with what you get, or you can start getting into those top 20s, top 10s, top 5s, and maybe even some tournament wins if you start planning your holes and playing with some precision. So that's what we're going to discover. That's what we're going to talk about today. So here we go. Hole 3 in today's daily tournament. Good example. I cannot get there off the tee with a fusion, with a RB, with anything. So it's going to be some sort of longer approach shot. Now, if I were to just bash this as far as I can, I'm going to end up with a 30%, 20% Orion, maybe even close to a max hive. Which, if you're stuck in a part three and you have to hit those shots, that's fine. We can get those dialed in and we can hit those. But your greatest chance for a drop on something like this is to back it up and use long irons. The most precise clubs with some ball guide that can get you close. So if we start hitting from a max Bigfoot range, we can start turning those 750s that you're getting in 800s, in 850s, and maybe up into the 890s and drops eventually. So myself and a lot of the other top guys, Bigfoot is our go-to if we cannot get into short, real tight short iron range. Uh, once you get a little more advanced in the game, a little more experienced, Lightning Rod is an absolute beast. I have over 600 albums in this game, and easily more than half of them are with Lightning Rod. But here we go. So figuring out your max Bigfoot range. People wonder if we memorize different spots on the course, if I just know by memory where they are, if there's anything that can help us out. The answer has been right in front of your eyes the entire time, and it's very simple. Look at this. So this is showing me max fusion range right now, off the tee. If I back it up, now I'm into max root range. And if I back that up even further, there is the distance that max Bigfoot will travel. So if I put my target on the left side of the screen, or my icon rather, and I have the aiming target where it is, right at max Bigfoot, we can see it's right around the right edge of that swing circle in the bottom right. So that gives me an indication, left to right on my screen, the range of Bigfoot. Now, how do we use this information? Well, if I go out and on the right side of my screen, right around where that max swing side circle is, if I put the right edge of that where I want the ball to land, and I put the left side of my screen, the left side of my screen is now Max Bigfoot. That is the distance Max Bigfoot travels on this hole. So I want the ball to land where that target is. So wherever your target is, put it on the left side of your screen. On the right side, put wherever it is on your screen where that Max Bigfoot line was. So for me, it's the right side of that circle. For you, it might be somewhere else. I play on a tablet a lot, and it's a different spot on the tablet. So figure it out. Back off to 
Max Bigfoot. Figure out on your screen where it is. And then we, again, we move over. Put the pin at that line. Put our target on the left edge of your screen. And that's where I want to land. That will put me in Max Bigfoot range. Now, some things to consider when doing this. I have to protect for a headwind on my next approach. And the reason I do that is I do not ever want to be adjusting into overpower, into where it's doing this, because it's not precise. And this game is about precision. So, I find my spot. I know that's where I want to adjust. Now it's gonna bounce. So I want the ball to land about there. Now, I wanna protect for that headwind, so I'm gonna go up a few. So right there is where I wanna to land to give myself a max big foot on my next approach. I do my adjust, 3.9, fusion. Now this doesn't have to be exact. It's gonna be around 3.4-ish, so around there. I go into OP, so I know I'm going to have to add a little bit of overpower on this shot, but here we go. And if we've done everything correctly, we should be close-ish to Max Bigfoot. And let's have a look. There we go. So if I'd had a pure headwind here, my adjust would have been around 3.5, 3.6. So I protected for that by being able to move forward. And now I have the advantage of using all that spin on Bigfoot because as you're closer to max range, you have more spin available. So now here I am with my approach at a good distance. I never guessed. I didn't just deal with what I was given. I determined my distance from my approach. So here we go. Now you've got an idea of how to hit the max big foot. And when you do stuff like that, you end up with rounds that look like this. Now, you're not gonna get to this point overnight, but we'll get you to getting a few of these rounds eventually. All right. Thanks for tuning in. And if you would like to see any other ideas or tips, please leave them in the comments. Please hit subscribe so you see the next video I come up with. And thanks for watching.